I'd like to share my exercise bike with you. I think many people have one of these sitting in the side yard that isn't getting used, which is the case with this, this bike. And my wife said either do something with it or get rid of it. And so I, I bolted it to the fence post and took the pedals that are for an able-bodied person, would be, they'd be putting their feet on them, and I use it. This, this exercise bike is huge for me as far as my exercise program. You can see I've mounted it so it's at, at my wheelchair height. I'm just able to pull up to it. The resistance is just from air. And then I'll usually put some music on and just sit out here and just crank. And I get a very, a very simple device. And I can stroke in a, you know, in a forward direction. And then work a different set of mus muscles pulling it backwards, and I'll try to do this for 10 or 15 minutes, and I'll, I'll be able to get winded, get a good cardiovascular workout, and something like this is great to be able to take advantage of. It's so simple, and it's really a pretty economical way to have a uh, exercise at your fingertips. After my swim first thing in the morning, so as you, in much of the year it's still dark while I'm riding the bike, um, but just being able to get the uh, system going. In, the, in March, where it's usually 50 degrees out here in the morning, um, just by riding the bike and all, it just gets you going. And it just, it's uh, just a wonderful way to start the day. Something that's very important for people in wheelchairs is you've got your largest muscle groups being your legs are not demanding the oxygen so you need to be able to use other parts of your body to get that cardiovascular uh, workout which is just incredibly important to be able to reach a point where you actually become winded and um, get that heart rate up and it just has huge benefits that, uh, that need to be um, exploited.